Hello, my name is Nell, and today I want to talk about the ups and downs of purpose. The up of purpose and the down of being too tired to fulfill your purpose once you've found it. Uh, before we get too far into it, hello, my name is Nell, and I have things to say about disability, chronic illness, mental health, and occasionally current events. If that sounds like something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. Come back every second Wednesday when I upload new videos. Let me know what you think of my videos in the comment section, and if you know of somebody who would benefit from or enjoy one of my videos or the whole channel, please feel free to share a link with them. For many years, I felt lost. I didn't know what I was doing with my life. I didn't know where I was going and I didn't know what I could achieve. I didn't know what my potential really was. When I was younger, I had ideas of what I could do. And then when I got really sick, slowly I had to write those things off my list because they were unachievable in my present state. In recent years, I've been figuring it out. I feel like I've found my purpose. However, there is a frustration with finally figuring out what you're meant to do in this world, but realizing that you might not have the strength or the energy to fulfill or realize that potential. I feel like I've realized my place in the world. I'm here to do advocacy. I'm here to raise awareness and I'm here to make music. But my body can't keep up. My body hasn't magically healed now that I know what I want to do in my life. Um, just because I know what I want to do, just because I know what my passions are, doesn't mean that my body has suddenly clicked into gear. For years, I wasn't aware of the opportunities around me, and now I am aware of the opportunities, but I just have to watch them float by me because I am too tired and too weak half the time. I've been in talks with a local recording studio who has agreed to work with me um, to record some of my original music using a funding program. I'm meant to go and meet this guy um, to talk about recording. Have I done that yet? Nope. Why not? Because I haven't had the energy. I, I do two things every week. Every week I go to a gaming group on Wednesday that my partner and I run and I go busking and grocery shopping on Friday and that wipes me out. And I often don't have the energy for a third thing in the week. After all the kerfuffle with my local theatre not being able to get me on the stage, they offered to give me a private tour of the new theatre facility that they're building to show me the respect and the inclusion. Have I taken them up on that offer yet? No. No, I haven't because I haven't had the energy. There are markets locally that I could play at, that I could reach out to and say, hey, can I play there? And that would give me a bit of pay and exposure for my music. Am I reaching out to them? No, because I know that I wouldn't have the strength to follow up on those commitments. I feel trapped. I feel trapped and it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. Sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and I'm bristling with creativity. But I'm so bloody exhausted. <laughs> I can't do any of the things that I feel like doing because I'm just so damn tired. And I don't know what was worse. <laughs> not knowing what I wanted to do with my life, not having anything to do with my life, or knowing exactly what I want to do with my life, but just being so sleepy. And it's not a matter of pushing. Some people will just say, like, just push through it. You cannot push through chronic fatigue. Pushing through chronic fatigue is sometimes the worst thing that you can do to chronic fatigue. There's something called post-exertional malaise, where if you push too hard, you will get sick after. I have to be careful. I can't just constantly make my music and make my videos and, and do my social media and all of that because I do get burnt out. It is frustrating. I want to I want to do more. I want to do more on the internet and I want to do more with my music. But I have to be careful because I am so tired. It's just a very, it's just kind of funny. It's an ironically funny thing. I was longing for purpose all this time and then I get purpose and I'm like, but I'm still too tired to do anything. Yeah. 
Thanks for letting me vent. <laughs> I do a lot of that here. Warning honesty ahead. It should just be warning. Just, just venting and moaning ahead. I'm just whinging. Warning, whinging ahead. Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Facebook. I put music up there when I have the energy. And don't forget, if you are interested in ear gears, a protective cover for your hearing aids, you can check out the link in my description um, where you can buy them with an affiliate code to give you a um, little discount. And there is a link to my video explaining um, everything about ear gears and my own relationship with them. So... That'll be fun. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Bless.